Hello everyone up with all good, big shout out to KI Couriers and Transport Limited and a big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Nothing podcast with myself, Billy Moore. Okay, so I'm going to have a little walk around the city of Liverpool and show you what's been going on. There's tents scattered all over the city, people living in them, freezing cold. Our council are doing absolutely nothing. There's a, there's a few voluntary uh, services out there that are going round giving them food and looking after them. Big shout out to them. I've seen their work and well done. You know, they do it from the goodness of their heart. Their agenda is clear. But other services, they're in it for a pound note. Let's have it right. I'm not asked about, you know, someone freezing cold, dying on the streets. Let's have a little look at this then. How's things, lad? Get them on. Too clever, mate. Shouldn't be out here. Yeah, it's fucking freezing as well, isn't it? Yeah. When you're trying to stay clean, do you want to put you in a hostel? Or oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, and then that's just as. You can't get clean, yeah. There's fucking dealers on every landing. So it goes from bad to worse. Yeah, do you want to put you in the YMCA or the Amphowlers or somewhere else? That's it's freezing out here, yeah. We woke up this morning and into water. And into water. St. John's, yeah. So we've had to drag the tent up here and put it. Look underneath the tent. Oh, lad. Not good, that is it? Not really. Jared, Jared, tell us what it's like for you on the streets. Hard, hard as fuck. Hard. That's the, that's the, that's the only thing that what helps me on the streets, though. So you just drink to, to help you cope? To cope with the streets, yeah. You know, to get through it. Jared and Mikey. Mikey's just got himself into a, a little bit of a young person's hostel there, hasn't he? Hostel, yeah. 19 years old on the streets. Fucking freezing. This is disgraceful, isn't it? Over your uh, you farewell, Mikey. I'm here talking to Pugel from Sri Lanka. He's been on the streets for four months. Yeah, he has. He's struggling? Yeah. Is it cold? Yeah. yeah. No support? I got there last time asking the homeless. I go to the, the homeless. Yeah. I give the asylum link. I give the letter. The asylum link? Yeah, asylum link. He's the letter I've been sending the home office and my, the lawyer, my lawyer. He's sending the So hopefully you get some support? Yes, yeah, sir. That's true for him. So hopefully someone will reach out. And help you because this is not on, is it? Okay, Doesn't matter where you're from, mate. Okay, you know what I mean? I wish you well. Take care and okay, thanks for your time. Okay, Thank you. Just spoke to four lads there who were new when I was in the grip of addiction. And they were all made up to see me. And I was like, you know what? One of them said to me, Do you know what, Bill? At least one of us made it out there. That's just taking me hard, that one. At least one of us made it out there. That's about 10 cents of sheen scattered around the city today. Look at that. Here's Shilla Black. Looks like someone's robbed one of her fingers. So Everton fans here, all Everton fans? Yes, Everton. <laughs> Up the toffees. So that group of people then were all 
from Poland and Lithuania. They're being honest there, eh? <laughs> just want money for vodka. Can't fault them, can you? So there behind me, that's the height of it. Sleeping on the streets. The council have got a lot to answer for. You no, know, it's unfair. Look, she must be freezing. Poor girl. So I'm speaking to David. David's 61. Yeah. Being on the streets for how long now? I've had a long time. Yeah. And you have <coughs> you had your ribs. <coughs> I've had my ribs booted last Saturday. Why? For no reason. I was just sitting on the steps and you had to come up and boost my ribs. I don't take drugs or nothing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It just boosted me. So two lads just come up and boosted you in the ribs yeah. or nothing? Yeah. How did that make you feel? It makes me feel right now. My ribs are really dead sore, painful. I've had to take eight paracetamol oh, yeah. every day. Is there any help here out there to, to get off the streets? But at the moment, I'm squatting in the empty flat on my own field. Oh, yeah? Yeah, at the moment, and that's it. I can't stay in my girlfriend because she's got a daughter. Well, I wish you well, David, to do. Thanks for your time, you know. Appreciate it. Yeah, I can't wait properly. This is Constant Square, so if you're ever up in Liverpool and you want a good night out, probably a violent one as well. And that's the place to head to because it's just full of piss heads on the Charlie. Hello mate, thanks for your time. So um, tell us a little bit about what's been going on and why you're sitting out mate, on the streets. There's too much trouble where I am on the side of fucking out of you and looking where I am. You live in flats, don't you? No, in, yeah. And there's people using drugs all oh, the time. Yeah. That's it. No, that's it. I can do without all that look. I've got a clean driving license and I want to stay that way. And I only need a prick from a bad needle and everything like that. It's happened before with other lads in there and they're fighting and all that lot. That's why I stay out. That is it. And that's the reason you're on the streets. Yeah, that's the reason, mate. That's it. I've asked for a move, so I'm waiting for a move. I mean, where I am with them, so that's it. I wish you well on that one, mate. And if Thank there's anyone you. out there who wants to offer you a little job, because you've got a, you know, a license, clean license. Clean license, class one. Brilliant. What's your name? Ian Bayliss. Nice to meet you, Ian. Thanks for your time. No problem, sir. Yeah. Thank you. So, like I said, tents all over the city of Liverpool. People sleeping rough on the streets. Sad state of affairs. There you go. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate all your support.